And so. Okay. All right. Is Reagan in Claremore? Right now, Seth. Is Re okay. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, let's go back over by Claremore right now. Uh, Reagan Ledbetter is over there. You see the storm. Uh, pretty nasty, a pretty meaty storm going in on prior. So if, uh, again, for you guys that have damage, watch out. Lightning strikes and all that going on. Uh, but let's talk to Reagan, who's in Claremore right now. What do you have, Reagan? Yeah, Trav, we just got in here a little bit ago. There's, uh, it, it's chaos out here right now. There's, it's pitch black because the power is out. There's down power lines coming in. We came in on Keatonville Hill uh, down into Claremore because the area over here um, coming in on 66 is all shut down by Vertigris police. Law enforcement everywhere, ambulances everywhere. We're actually at the quick trip coming into town here in Claremore right now. And you can see this is just one of many power lines that are down. These power lines came down on top of the quick trip gas pumps. And just in like the 10 minutes that I've been here, I've had to yell at three or four different drivers who have basically driven almost right into these power lines. Um, there's people out here, volunteers, trying to encourage people to, to stay out of this area, warn people, um, but there's power lines down everywhere right now. Um, I've, been on, I've been on the phone with uh, Sheriff Scott Walton, and there's reports of um, some people trapped at a campground nearby, you know, law enforcement coming into the area trying to uh, help people right now. I know Wagner County Sheriff's Office is off for deputies to come here to help out with um, the law enforcement needs here right now. Um, but this, these power lines down is causing a major problem right now. It's hard for people to get around. It's hard to see with it being dark out right now. Um, so we're going to head around the area and, and figure out some other areas that have been damaged and, and give you an update pretty soon. Back to you, Travis. All right. Hey, thanks, Reagan. And we had uh, seen a report on Facebook, I think Megan saw, of uh, some people that could be uh, trapped, you said, at the KOA campgrounds. Is that what you heard? Awesome. Yeah. Go ahead, Reagan. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing I heard. The KOA crowd grounds over at the Racino um, on east of Claremore. Um, over on Highway 20 is where we're here. And that people have been trapped in campers. There's a lot of law enforcement over there right now trying to get people out of there. I've heard heavy equipment has been brought in. Um, campers possibly tipped over. So that's the reports that I'm hearing right now. We do have a crew headed that way or trying to get that way. The problem is, is there's down trees and power lines. So getting to those areas is tough. I also talked to a deputy who lives here in town. Um, his home took a hit. He's safe, um, but his home took a lot of damage from this storm that came through. And I was trying to get there, but he said there's no way to get here right now because there's power lines and trees down just getting his place on Highway 20. 